And here we go on our Hey Mary Kay edition of the Orange Brown Talk podcast. Mary Kay, let's get right to it. As you would expect, our Football Insider subscribers really want to talk about Baker Mayfield. So there's a few angles here, and there were a number of people that wanted to ask about that shoulder. So we're just going to start here with Tom from Middlebury, Connecticut, who says, Hey Mary Kay, I'm sure you'll be getting lots of Baker questions. Tom was right. His is whether you think there is more to this shoulder injury. Saying, quote, it's still attached isn't exactly saying it's not affecting him. What are you hearing about the shoulder? You know, I probably have to dig into it a little bit more, but I really don't think that 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 is the reason why he was off yesterday. I think that uh, I, I don't know exactly what it was, but because it's his left shoulder, even if he's in some pain, I just really don't think that that's going to affect his right throwing arm as much as some people think it might be. I don't know. And and maybe I just don't want to have their, uh, you know, to have it be that easy and to be making some kind of kind of an excuse for it, you know, but I'm, I'm just not feeling that. And, and, you know, maybe I'm wrong. And like I said, I'll dig into it a little bit more and see what I can find out. But as of right now, I'm going to say, no, I think it was a bad game. I think it was a a good quarterback who had a very bad game and could not get himself together for whatever reason. And, uh, and I I think I'm just going to attribute it to that. Yeah. I mean, it's tricky because we just don't know. We don't know the extent of the shoulder. And like I I said this yesterday, he's not showing up on the injury report. So it's not something they are feeling compelled to put on the injury report that he's dealing with a shoulder injury. So, I, I mean, just with that, even in mind, it's just hard to look at it and make too many excuses that the shoulder is causing a problem. What's interesting is if it is the shoulder, you, you maybe start to have that discussion about whether, you know, quarterback is different than we're going to get to Jed Wills later, but quarterback is different than left tackle. You get to having that discussion of, does he need a week off? Does he need to, to get shut down for a stretch or something like that? But I'm kind of with you. If it's not showing up on the injury report, it's hard for me to look at it and say, yeah, it's definitely the shoulder. Yeah. And the other thing about that is I, I was wondering the very first week back, the first practice back after the shoulder popped out and he popped it back in, he wasn't even limited in that practice. I mean, he never showed up on the injury report. He was, you know, he was fine. And, uh, and so based on that and the way that he's looked in practice, like Kevin Stefanski said today, I just don't think that it could be that more so than anything. I think sometimes Baker gets almost a little too hyped up. He gets a little too much juice, a little too much adrenaline, and he can't bring himself down. He can't control himself. Uh, So, you know, maybe it was that. I often wonder if sometimes if the footwork is off a little bit, because if your feet aren't going right, then the, the passes have a tendency to sail. Uh, that's something that we can ask Alex Van Pelt on Thursday, but, uh, you know, mechanically, you know, I've been trying to ask Kevin for the last two days, you know, is it something I asked him today again, was it the footwork? And he said, you know, he doesn't really think so. They don't think it's the shoulder. You know, it it could just be, uh, you know, just a guy being off. It's like you go out on the golf course one day and you can hit the ball. And then the next day, you know, you're slicing it and it's not going where you want it to go. So I think it was just one of those days, but it was just so weird. It was just so weird that he couldn't, couldn't get it together. I mean, you had to almost wonder if Case Keenum would not have done a better job in that game. I think he would have had to. I mean, Baker, I've never seen Baker that off from start to finish in a football game. I don't remember it being that bad. And and missing the deep throws, Mm -hmm. you know, that was kind of, I mean, you're not going to hit every deep throw. And I know Kevin kind of said something about those being lower percentage throws, but he missed guys that were open. It calls forth again, the big debate. Do Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr. have issues together? Does Baker Mayfield play differently when Odell Beckham Jr. is on the field? Does it get inside of his head? Is there something to this? And the truth of the matter is right at this very moment, we don't really know. We don't know the answer to that. And we're not going to know the answer for a few more weeks. And then the answer might change again when Jarvis comes back. This is uh, from Brian from Hilliard, Ohio. Hey, Mary Kay, is Baker Mayfield's issue possibly due to him not feeling secure due to the issues on the left side of the offensive line? Do we think it would get better 
when Jedrick Wills heals and the line is back to 100%? You know, I think there could be something to that. I mean, when you don't feel super confident that, uh, that you are protected on your blind side like that, that could be a factor. That could absolutely be a factor. He didn't really have to worry about that too many times last year. Heading into week 14 last year, he had been sacked only. Do you know the answer to this, Dan? Heading, Heading into, into week 14, 14 last yeah. year. With, um, two game, with two games left, how many times had he, had he been sacked? 20? Very close. It was 18. Oh. He had only been sacked 18 times all the way up until the second last game of the season. Right now, as we speak, he has been sacked 12 times already, okay? And they're in week four. So he is on pace for 51 sacks. Last year, he was sacked 26 times. Uh, So 51, that would have him, you know, probably right up there with, uh, you know, pretty close to number one in the NFL, if not number one in the NFL. So that's a disturbing trend. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that Jed is not himself. Okay. Jed is hurt and they've been down to Blake Hans. They've been down to James Hudson yesterday. Chris Hubbard hasn't been in there. I think that Jed would have the opportunity to rest a little bit if Chris is ready to play Chris Hubbard. So, and that could, that could happen this week. I mean, Jed underwent an MRI today. He's been carted off in each of the last two games. You don't want that to happen. The guy needs a couple weeks off and they need to get it for him through Chris. 